Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in this video I want to talk about some new features that came to TickTick. Now TickTick is one of those applications that I refer to as like the, the little engine that could because it doesn't get talked about enough. And TickTick is one of those to-do apps that does a, a, a lot of things, especially for the cost. You, you, you can pay, I think it's around like $36 for the year for this entire thing. But it does a lot of things, you know, it has its to-do list. It has a calendar view that comes with the paid version. You have this Eisenhower matrix that helps you kind of prioritize your tasks. You have a, a Pomodoro counter in here as well, or timer. You can track all of your habits in here. And it has really good search capabilities because you can not only do tasks within um, Tick Tick here, you can also create notes or even create a task and convert those tasks to notes or vice versa. So it's pretty versatile application that again, I don't think gets talked about enough for all the things that it does, especially for the, the actual cost of it. Now, I just wanted to go into a couple new features here, but the one thing that is missing from here is that you don't get to manage calendar events. So if you're looking for something to actually add calendar events, if you go into the calendar area, while you can add in all of your different calendars that are out there that you use, you can only add in a task onto the calendar from within TickTick. So getting into the actual features that I am here to actually talk about that are uh, fairly new to the product is that before you always had your tasks and you had your, your calendar and these two were pretty separate. So you do all your tasks here and you come here and you can see all of your calendar events. You can create new tasks on here, but these views were pretty separate from each other and you could not take tasks from here that you might have in your list and then be able to put it on your calendar other than opening up the, the task itself and then putting a date on it like you can right here. Now, what they've added here is if you come to this icon, this task icon, and you right click on it, you have the show with calendar. And if you click that, it opens up a calendar here on the side. And right now I have it set to three days, but you can come in here and you can change the view to either a day view, a week view, you have a month view, you can do uh, an agenda view there and you can walk through a multi-day which you can configure yourself. So right now I have it at three, but I can come in here and set this to two and, or go all the way up to, let's see how many, it goes up to a max of 14. So I will put it back to three, because I think 14 is, is way too much, but you could have it set up to where it's either showing a, a few days or even an entire week. And then you can drag your task from say over here, if you have a particular task and it needs to be done, say like this overdue one here, I can grab this, this task here and I can go ahead and place it on my calendar for whichever day that I can see within this view. Now this is pretty nice. So this really adds in a, an extra piece of efficiency of being able to m see what events you have on your calendar and then being able to place your tasks around those events. Or if you do time blocking and you may have your time block events on your calendar, you can actually come in here and you can place those tasks within the same time frame um, of, you know, a, an actual time block when you may have blocked off time to do your tasks. Now on the flip side, there's also, if you go into the calendar view, you can do basically the opposite. So before you could do that, where you come in here and you can do arrange tasks and you would see all your tasks here on the side. And then if you want to take and drag them out, you, you could do it from there, but they've changed it now to where you get a different view from this. Now I did like this view cause you can show it from the list. You can actually come in here and you can filter out which list you want to see. You can do it by tag or you can do it by priority. So it was pretty flexible and giving you options to be able to 
take your task and drag them onto the calendar. But now if you come over here and you right click on that calendar icon to show tasks, you can now see that you get the similar pane that you would in the task view. So you can come in here and you can select which, um, which area you want to be in. Um, you can come into your list and if you want to drill down into a particular list that you're going to work on, say you have a project uh, that f that's in your project area and you want to see all those tasks and then you can put those onto the calendar. So I think this, this new feature that they've added, again, it just rounds the product out and makes it a lot more efficient for you to take your tasks and put them on the calendar while also seeing the different events that are on the calendar because I've seen the to do is calendar that they've they've come out with and right now at least at the time of this particular video when it was put out while you can get that calendar view you cannot actually have your your calendar events synced to those calendars um, that view that you see over in and to do is okay so that's going to be it for this video if you want to see more on Tick Tick, just let me know in the feedback in the comments and I can go a little bit deeper into Tick Tick and maybe how I use it. If you like the information in this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.